here uh, there are few problems uh, like uh, we are given with some functions and we need to find out the domain and range of these functions uh, let us start with the first thing uh, that is if you see f of x is given to be 2 minus x and x takes the values in n okay whenever we are given a mapping that is mapping is a relation or association between two sets a and b okay uh, the values in a that is the values in the domain okay here a is the domain the values that are present in a is called as the domain okay so whenever we are given with some rule and we are, not, we are asked to find out the domain we have to check whether this function is in this form that is something it is in the rational form or not if it is in the rational form we need to look for the denominator and identify the points uh, in which the denominator part vanishes because at those points the function value does not exist okay that is that is where uh, we need to use the cons we need to use this rational functions to find out the uh, domain or the points that has to be excluded from the domain okay uh, here all those functions are not of that kind okay so it is not a bother here so as of now we don't need to worry about this okay in the first function it is given that x takes values in n okay which means all the values of n can be substituted here and at no point the function does not exist okay so the domain is the entire n then what is the range okay here n is what it is 1 2 3 and it goes on like this right so when I substitute 1, I will have 1. When I substitute 2, I will have 0. When I substitute 3, I will have minus 1. Then minus 2 and it goes on like this. This is the range set for the function a. Okay, here. Uh, it is okay, it is not vanishing. Even if it vanishes, we don't need to worry about it. The function is not defined for no values of this case. Okay. So here the domain is going to be the entire set, right? Okay. So here the minimum this set consisting of the points 0, 1, 2, 3 and it goes on like this. Okay. When I substitute 0, I will have 1. When I substitute 1, I will have 2. When I substitute 2, I will have 5. When I substitute 3, I will have 10. Then 17 and it goes on like this. Okay. Here, the function is given to be f of x is x. This is an identity mapping. Identity mapping in the sense it can take any value. Whatever may be the value that you give for this x, the same is going to be your image. So, the domain is entire r and the range is also entire r. Okay. Here, in this function, you are not given with the place or the set where the x values lie. Okay. Here we need to identify such values. Okay. In our course, we are dealing with, we are primarily dealing with the functions of real variables and the, uh, all those things we will deal are of mostly real variables. Unless it is specified complex, it, they are real. Okay. So, make sure that your, this thing has to be a real value. If it has to be a real value, then you must have this under root part, right? This has to be non-negative. So that you will have this value to be real unless you will have complex value, right? So, is this true? Yes, it is of course true. Sometimes it is true only for certain values. But here this is true for all x in R. Right? Which means your domain is entire R. You can also write this as minus infinity comma infinity. Okay. Then what happens here? Suppose uh, okay. four. Generally, when we take a square root of a four, it is either two or minus two, right? But if it is being mapped with these two elements this is not a proper mapping right hence in these situations we have to avoid this uh, troublesome 
Here, the function is given to be simply under root mod x. We are not given any sign here. So, we will consider only the positive thing, which means we avoid this. Okay, so it is going only to a positive value. This now has become a valid mapping. Okay, now we need to identify this. Okay, if x is 0, then you will get uh, your g of x is also 0. Okay, if your x is 1, it goes to what? Your g of 1 is also 1. If your x is minus 1, then also your g of 1 is g of minus 1 is 1. Uh, x b uh, 0.25 then your z of 0 0.25 is 0 0.5 this is true for both this okay and let me take x to be a uh, 27 or something like that my g of 27 is uh, 3 under root 3 this is also some real value right so whatever may be the value i am getting applying i am going to get the values only in the positive part or it is 0 so my range is going to be R plus union set 0 that is closed at 0 open at infinity ok here uh, I just want to make some thing uh, suppose what happens in this function ok suppose let me give another function uh, e that is uh, g of x is equal to under root x simply under root x if this is the case if this under root x that is my g of x has to be a real value means my x has to be greater than or equal to 0 ok x has to be greater than or equal to 0 means x can take any value in this interval only ok since this is defined to be plus uh, my uh, range will also be this suppose I define this way okay uh, suppose I define this way then the this is the domain okay my domain remains unchanged but my range becomes what range is minus infinity comma zero closed at zero okay Next, we are going to solve this cut of an inequality. It is well, that absolute of 3 minus 1 upon x is smaller than 1 by 2. Okay. Whenever you are giving uh, this kind of relation, this tells you what my x lies between a and my minus a and a. Right. So applying the same to here, what you are going to get is that minus 1 upon 2 less than 3 minus 1 upon x less than 1 upon 2 right when you uh, uh, you have to have only this x part here okay so for which i am just adding minus 3 on all the sides minus 3 minus 1 upon 2 minus 3 plus 3 minus 1 upon x less than uh, 1 upon 2 minus 3 so this is going to be minus 7 upon 2 and this is minus 1 upon x and this is uh, minus 5 upon 2 ok when I negate the signs ok when I negate the signs I am going to get 7 upon 2 bigger than 1 upon x bigger than 5 upon 2 and this can be written as 5 upon 2 less than 1 upon x less than 7 upon 2 when I take the reciprocal then that becomes 2 upon 5 bigger than uh, x bigger than 2 upon 7 and this is uh, 2 upon 7 smaller than x smaller than 2 upon 5 ok so when you solve the given inequality you get this